going on guys welcome to the channel today we are in the garage and we're working on the bass boat not the kayak uh, as you've seen in the thumbnail we're going to be installing some carpet graphics onto my skeeter bass boat today i do have a really neat kayak diy video coming very soon i had to order some stuff for the video i'm liking one thing to be shipped and once it gets here i've got a really really cool diy kayak modification video coming for you guys really soon so if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button so you can be notified as soon as the video goes live and you can check that out but today like i said we are going to steer away from the kayak for this video and we're going to be working on my bass boat so i've already installed some carpet graphics on my boat and i was doing it and i figured i'd shoot a video and share it with you guys i got these carpet graphics from z decals i'll make sure to link them below in the video description uh, they've got all kinds of different brands and sizes to choose from and these are these are legit carpet graphics these aren't stickers that just stick to your carpet these are they got everything in them is made for bass boat carpet these things uh, if they're put on right they're not gonna come up they're gonna last you a really long time they got some grip to them they're really thick and they are super sticky the back is really sticky so what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna go step by step first I'm gonna tell you how I go about installing carpet graphics on my bass boats and the steps I take before I put them on and you have to be very picky about that because the the prep work is it makes everything it makes the the lifespan of your sticker that's what that's what makes it last long and stay on for a very long time so I'm gonna get right into that and then we're going to set up and we're gonna put this I've got one left we're gonna put it on this rod locker right here today and I'm gonna show you how to do it let's do it so the first thing you want to do whenever you are doing a carpet graphic on your bass boat so you want to make sure that it is dry and it is very clean so the other day i did pressure wash my bass boat and but it's been about a week now and it's been dried out really well so uh, you do want to do the uh, dampness test where you can take a tissue or some paper towels or toilet paper whatever you've got uh, and just press it into the carpet in several places and if it comes up damp at all do not do the sticker install just wait let it dry out also i use a shop bag and I've already done this, so I don't have to do it on camera, but you vacuum your carpet really, 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 really good. I mean, you have to have this carpet super clean. Then, for the last step you wanna do, now this is a really crucial thing that you want to do, get you some duct tape. Any duct tape, just make sure it's really good and sticky duct tape. And where you plan to put your decal, just start sticking duct tape to your carpet and then pull it up. And you wanna keep doing this over and over until whenever you pull it up, you're not pulling up anything. See, I vacuumed this carpet very well with a big, big time shop vac, and I'm still pulling up little fuzzies. So you don't wanna pull up any little hairs or fuzzies or anything that's gonna keep your decal from sticking. So what I do is I just get my duct tape out I like to stick it down, peel it up. <coughs> stick it down, peel it up. And you, you wanna do this until when you put it down and you peel it back up, there's not gonna be anything left on it. <coughs> Rub it down really good so it, so it picks up. And a lot of people like to use the little, you know, the little lint rollers you can buy. Those work really good. But I suggest if you're gonna use that, also use some duct tape so you can really push it down into the carpet. You can really get this duct tape to get down into the fibers and pick up anything. See, I'm still getting a little bit of fuzz. I'm just gonna do this a few more times until my tape is coming up clean. And then we'll get on to the next step. So, I think that's pretty good right there. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to take your graphic and you got to figure out exactly the way you want to put it on your boat, the, in, the orientation that you want to put it. And I went back and forth with this a lot. A lot of people like to put their rod locker graphics facing this way, but also a lot of people like to put them facing in. Now facing in, a lot of the pros like to do that because they've usually got a cameraman on the boat and it shows the logos, you know, 
readable on television like Wheeler's boat, his graphics face in, but I really like the look of my graphics facing out. I don't know why, it's just a preference. You can do it however you wanna do it, but I think I'm gonna install mine. I've already done the Booyah one, I'll show you in just a minute. I've got one on that rod locker, and I've got it facing out, so I think that's how we're gonna do this one. I'm gonna have it facing outside the boat. Now you wanna take a measuring tape and just get it on there even. I measured that one over there about like that. So I'm just measuring seven and a quarter from that edge. I would have to go way down for this one, but I kind of want to keep it even with that one over there. These stickers are two different lengths. I believe that is going to be the location where I put this Lorentz decal on the rod lock. Now, now comes the fun part. What you want to take is, I like to use the two inch masking tape. It works good, but I will say this, it is not gonna stick very well to your carpet. Uh, the boats that I've done, it, you just have to kind of lay something on them. You're only gonna be using this for a guideline, really. And what I mean by that is what we'll do is we're gonna take a piece of this, try not to move your decal at all. And you're gonna stick it on the decal, make sure it sticks really well. Kind of rub it into the carpet, but it's gonna wanna peel up out of the carpet. So I usually set something on it once it's in place where I want it. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to put it on the decal and have a straight line coming right off onto the carpet. And you can try your best to get it to stick to the carpet, but it's not going to stick very well. We're just going to use these as a guide for when we peel this back off and come back down. We're going to have a guide to line it back up to get it back where we want it. Now you take another piece and you run it right down the middle, somewhere right in the center. This is gonna be your hinge piece. This is gonna be where we keep it stuck to the boat when we peel up and do one side at a time. See how this is already coming up? So let me make sure everything stays tight. I like to lay some stuff on here. It's gonna stick to your sticker pretty good, but it's, it's not gonna wanna stick to your carpet. So you can even do it like that and just stack stuff around it. All right, once everything is in place and you're happy with it, the main one you wanna make sure is down is this center. This, this center piece that I just stuck here, it is the hinge point, like I said, from when we fold it back and put it back over. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave that right there. You wanna cut a straight line right through the masking tape. Just like that. So now we can match that masking tape back up whenever we fold the sticker back down. We just make sure those, that tape lines up right on the cut mark and we'll know we put the sticker back right where we had it. So now we're gonna lift up and not, don't pull it out of your hinge point, kinda just, you have to be real soft with it. Keep your masking tape on your sticker. And you're just gonna unpeel the back. Try to get as close to that hinge point as possible on the first one. And pull it off straight and even, just like that. Now you're gonna take your knife. Make sure you're using a really sharp blade. You don't have to get into the carpet, but you do wanna just drag it so that you cut the backing off. And now we're gonna roll it back over in a straight line and line the tape cut back up. Just like that. So our tape lined right back up where it should be. Now I'm gonna gently just kind of press this down. Now you can actually take that off now kind of press it down, not too hard so it slides off this end. So now we're gonna keep our hinge in the same spot. Where's my knife? We're gonna cut this tape, same way we did the other end. Just leave about an inch or two sticking off. 
the sticker, cut a nice straight line so you can't even see it's cut. Now we're gonna pull this back, but now we can actually remove the hinge. We're gonna pull our back off all the way, all the way off. We're just gonna roll it back up. Just like that. And now we're gonna just roll the decal back down the way it came. Line our sticker back up, or our masking tape, see how it lines right back up. push it down. We know we have it in the position we want it now so we can get this tape out of the way. And now we just want to lightly push it down. And the next thing you want to do, and it's probably going to shake the camera a little bit, but you want to walk on it. All right, so now you just on it just like this. All right, so after you walk on it, I got a little tip I wanna share with you. I have a weight bench, now it can be anything you want. And if you're, if you're not new to my channel and you've seen me do the carpet install, where I actually installed this carpet on this boat, uh, if you hadn't seen that video, I'll link it right here, you can check it out. Uh, I use these in that carpet install video too, it really helps hold the carpet down when you're gluing it in place. But what you can do is if you got some weights laying around or anything heavy, you can use these to kind of keep pressure on the decal for a little while. And it, and it really helps. And then you can keep the pressure on them for a few hours, seal the edges, and then you'll be good to go. And these weights are amazing. They really help a lot. The, They'll, they'll, they'll really help the sticker and the glue lock together up under the decal if you just keep them on for a few hours. And what I'll do is I'll put a few weights on this decal for a few hours and I'll switch it to my other decals. And I'll show you real quick the, uh, the other decals that I put on the boat today. And I think they turned out really good. So here's what I mean about the weights. You just kinda wanna set the weights on the decal and you can slide them as long as you don't hit the edges and pull them up. Just like that. And you can see the texture of these. These are really thick. And the glue is really, it's got some, I don't know what kind of glue they use, but it is designed just to lock into the fibers of carpet. And man, it works. As you can see, I put on the Abu Garcia decal, and I've got a Booyah decal on the other side. I'll show you. This is the first one I did this morning. Put it on the first rod locker. I think it turned out really well. All right, guys, that's how I install carpet graphics on a bass boat. These are high quality graphics. Like I said earlier, Z decals. I'm gonna link them in the video description. If you wanna add graphics to your boat and you wanna get some nice high quality carpet graphics, check them out. Click the link, go to their website. They have a decal on their website that you'll wanna put on your boat, I promise. They have just about every brand you can think of, every bass boat brand, every fishing lure brand. Just go check them out. You'll find something that you want to stick on your boat. I promise you will. Uh, I think they turned out great. The prep work is the key. Like I said, make sure your carpet is clean. Test it over and over again until you're not pulling anything up and you're, you're, they'll go down and they'll last forever. I promise they will. You just got to take care of them. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're new, hit subscribe. Check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.